Where are we gonna go to school now? Well, we're gonna find you somewhere real nice to go. The council will vote to either adopt or reject school integration. Folks in this town like things the way they are. I play Anne Atwater, and Anne was a very outspoken civil rights activist during the 70s for the Durham community. We gonna beat school segregation once and for all. Anne was an icon in the black community. She dedicated her life to the people who didn't have a voice, and boy, did she have a big voice. My job was to get problems solved. The city council people didn't want to look at us because we were black. They would turn their chairs around, and I would walk up and knock them back around. Now, what we talking about is important, and you going to damn well listen to us. <laughs> she in a bad mood today. I'm the president of the Klan. Not gonna have black kids going to Tim's school. C.P. Ellis don't scare me. She can upset the world with her mouth if she wants to. The story essentially is about two people who are really on opposite sides of the fence. I'm here to protect my family. So all the better is you don't get in my way. And well, I'm gonna get in your way. The state of the world is what made me very passionate about doing this film. We knew if we didn't speak up for our children that nobody else would. And finally we started talking to one another. All of this drastically changed my life. They forge a bond mainly because of their working class background. What you so afraid of, CP? You afraid you're gonna lose control. You ain't no more in control than the man in the moon. I can't sit in the hole. This really happened. It was like, wow, how come we didn't know this story? She looked at me like I got some kind of monster. What'd you expect? It feels like the universe needs it. There are Anne Atwaters in every community. To be a revolutionary, to be a person who evokes change, you can't think inside the box. At the end of the day, love always wins. That's just what I do, CP. You know that, that's just what I do. Hey guys, here's today's daily fact. The bridge explosion in the good, the bad and the ugly had to be shot twice. Now remember the scene when Blondie and Tulko blow up the bridge leading to the cemetery where the gold is believed to be buried? Well, a misunderstanding led to the dynamite around the bridge being detonated before cameras were ready to catch it, requiring the bridge to be rebuilt and the whole thing to be shot again. Hmm. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side to watch another video.